Hey, this is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And in this video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, February 6, 2019. If this is your first time on my channel. I do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos. So please consider subscribing. A lot of great books this week, a lot of Marvel, of course, a lot of Marvel covers, some great DC titles, great artists, great writers. I really like some of the independent books that are coming out, but let's not just sit here and talk about it. Let's go over to the computer so I can show you what I got. Kicking off this week, we have Adventures of the Super Sons number seven. Locked in an intergalactic juvenile detention facility, Superboy and Robin meet the youngest and meanest Green Lantern ever. Well, sort of a Green Lantern, mostly a Green Lantern, really more of a trainee, but don't tell the bad guys, okay? Batman number 64, this is gonna be part one of The Price. Two greatest detectives in DC Universe take on one of the cold case that will tear them apart. As chief architect of the Sanctuary Program, it costs so much for so many, especially Wally West, Batman will be held accountable by The Flash. We have a regular Chris Burnham cover. There's also a regular price variant by Sean Murphy. Female Furies number one. All their lives, the female Furies have been raised to be the meanest, most cunning and most ruthless fighting force in all of Apocalypse. So why are Granny Goodness' girls always left behind every time the men go to war? With the might of the new Genesis hanging over the planet and the forever people making mincemeat out of Dykeside's army, Granny thinks it's about time that changed. They have a regular cover by Mitch Strads. There's also a gorgeous regular price variant by Francesco Matina. I'll be picking up the Matina cover. Harley Quinn number 58. Implicated in a crime she didn't commit, Harley Quinn must prove her innocence by teaming up with the Cape Crusader himself, Batman. But can the Clown Prince of Crime and the Dark Knight coexist long enough to solve a murder? Or will the two frenemies end up being the death of each other? We have a regular cover by Gillen March. There's a gorgeous regular price variant by Derek Chu. A lot of people like or hate the Derek Chu variant. Also, a lot of people are aware of it, so don't think you're gonna sneak in and get something people aren't aware of. But, great cover in my opinion, so I'll be picking up the Derek Chu variant. Suicide Squad Black Files number four. This is part four to Revenge of Cobra. Katana finally escapes the deadly dimension of the Soul Taker, only to find herself trapped in the body of Lady Eve. Now she must save Halo and the Suicide Squad from King Cobra and his wife, who is the imposter Katana, even though the squad and Halo see her as a mortal enemy. Young Justice number two. The new teen super team unites as Robin, Wonder Girl, Teen Lantern, and Jenny Hex join forces to help Amethyst free Gemworld from those who control it. Regular cover by Patrick Gleason. There's also a regular price variant by Sanford Green. Project Superpowers number six. This comes from Dynamite Entertainment. It's the final confrontation between Alien Vader Pandora and the surviving members of Project Superpowers. This has a bunch of different covers. I only have the one cover on here, and it's the Incentive Francisco Matina Virgin variant. He also has the regular cover, which is the same but with the trade dress. But I like this Incentive variant. That's the one I'll be picking up. It looks to be like a one in 10 because the average price is around eight fifty nine dollars to 10 dollars. Red Sonja number one. This is also from Dynamite. No man knows the place of her birth, nor where she learned to wield a sword to shame many a male. They know only that she is called the She-Devil of the Hyrcanian Steps and Red Sonja. This has a bunch of different covers. There's like 18 covers for it. I just have this one I'm highlighting and it's the Joe Jusco Incentive Painted Sneak Peek variant. It's up there in price. The average in sales online right now between $70 to $90, but I love this cover. Love Joe Jusco. Not showing the other covers because it's the only one I think you need to worry about. If you can get this, definitely pick it up. It's also my pick of the week. Die number three. This is going to be part three to Fantasy Heartbreaker. It has a regular cover by Stephanie Hans and a regular price variant by Jen Bartel. Walking Dead number 188. This is titled Falling Into Place. And in this issue, it's time to learn once and for all, is Princess friend or foe? Vindication number one. This is a new mini series from Image Comics. In turbulent times, when cops are often portrayed as the enemy of the people, Detective Chip Christopher maneuvers the blurred line between racism and due diligence in order to do his job. And right now, it's his job to investigate Turn, who's a young black man with a sketchy past who was previously exonerated of a similar murder. Age of X-Men, Marvelous X-Men number one. The perfect heroes for a perfect world. The X-Men have helped make the world into a utopia where living in fear and hatred is a thing of the past. All people are united under the banner of mutant kind and all of mutant kind idolizes the X-Men. When danger threatens the world, the Marvelous X-Men set things right for good of all and no one dares say otherwise. This has five different covers for it. There's a regular Phil Noto cover, 
There's a regular price connecting variant by NPAC Lee. There's also a regular price variant by Victor Hugo. And a regular price secret cover poly bag variant by Carlos Pacheco. And an incentive Rob Liefeld variant. Avengers number 14. This kicks off the War of the Vampires. Transylvania is burning. As Vampire Civil War throws the world into chaos, the mysterious Shadow Colonel and his squad of undead revolutionaries have one burning question in their murderous minds. Where is Dracula? And if the Avengers find him first, will the Lord of the Damned be friend or foe? This has three covers for it. There's a regular Mateo Scalera wraparound cover. There's a regular price scrolls cover by Carlos Pacheco. And there's also a 1 in 25 incentive wraparound variant by Mateo Scalera. Conan the Barbarian number three. Hungry and desperate, Conan's experience in civilization takes a dark turn. And when Conan is caught thieving, he'll discover the penalty is death. But how does this figure into the Crimson Witch's plan? This has five different covers. There's a regular side ribbit cover, regular price Pepe Larraz scrolls variant, regular price John Tyler Christopher action figure variant, there's a one in 10 incentive Protaccio variant, and a one in 25 Greg Land Daredevil number one. A lot of the information about this has been classified, so we don't know too much yet, but it is written by Chip Zdarsky. Interior art is by Marco Cicchetto and Chip Zdarsky, so that makes for a great team. It is going to have eight different covers for it. There's a regular Tedesco cover. There's a regular price Umberto Ramos Scrolls variant. There's a regular price Scotty Young Baby variant. There's an incentive Gabriel Del Otto variant, a 1 in 25 incentive Alex Malib variant, a 1 in 50 Jamal Campbell variant, there's an incentive Joe Casada Hidden Gem variant, and a incentive Joe Casada Hidden Gem Virgin variant. Gunhawk's one shot. This is another one shot for Marvel's 80th anniversary, taking on the Old Wild West, and it's gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular Gerardo Zafino cover, there's a regular price Aaron Cuter Young Guns variant, and a regular price Bob McLeod Scrolls variant. Mortal Hulk number 13. The one below all is a control, and Bruce Banner belongs to him. Hell is ascending, but there are two people hell isn't strong enough to hold. One is a man named Eugene Judd, the other is the Immortal Hulk. They have a regular cover by Alex Ross. There's also a regular price scrolls variant by Chris Stevens. Killmonger number four. Eric Killmonger came to New York for revenge, but now everything is crumbling around him. Ulysses Claw, the man he came to kill, disappeared. Wilson Fisk, Killmonger's new employer, he set the deadliest assassin on his trail. And now Eric's band of killing comrades is inches from Black Widow's fangs. The hourglass is running out and Killmonger has nowhere left to run. Old Man Quill number one. He used to be Star-Lord, but it's been quite some time since he's gone by that name. Taking over his father as the Emperor of Spartax, Quill put the life of spacefaring adventure behind him for one of leadership and responsibility. Quill grew up, but things didn't go as plans Decades have passed and Peter is haunted by tragedy. We have six different covers for this. There's a regular John Tyler Christopher cover, regular price Jim Sterling Hidden Jim variant, regular price Katie Cook variant, a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Andrea Sorrentino, a 1 in 50 incentive variant, and a 1 in 100 Jim Sterling Hidden Jim Virgin variant. Tony Stark Iron Man number 8. This is part 2 to Hulk in Hell. It whispers through many mouths and destroys many hands. Its only weapon is hate. It wears human souls like masks on a stage to work it well in the world. But in the lowest hell, underneath all others, all the mask comes off and the one below all is revealed. This has three different covers for it. There's a regular Alexander Lozano cover, regular price Marvel 80th anniversary variant by Phil Noto, and a regular price Conan vs. Marvel villains variant. I like the regular cover on this, followed by the Phil Noto, so I might pick both of those up. Wolverine Long Night Adaption number two. This is the adaption to the Wolverine podcast. A rundown cabin in the middle of nowhere, feral children looking in the trees, a sinister cult worshiping a cathedral at night. As agents Pierce and Marshall continue to investigate the killer strike in Burns, Alaska, they uncover even more mysteries than they bargained for. Oberon number one. This comes from Aftershock Comics, betrayed by his people and exiled to Earth. Lord Oberon, the former king of the fairies, seeks out an innocent prophesied child in order to manipulate her and becoming his ultimate weapon so he can reclaim his rightful throne. We have a regular cover. There's also an incentive variant for this as well. Archie 1941 number 5. This brings us to the conclusion of the 1941 miniseries. Archie Andrews is MIA and he's presumed dead and his friends and family are devastated. We have three different covers for it. There's a regular cover, 
There's a regular price Jerry Ordway and Glenn Whitmore cover. There's also a regular price Tula Lote variant. Magical beatdown number one. This comes from Silver Sprocket, and it's a hyper-violent street harassment revenge fantasy in the style of Sailor Moon about an average schoolgirl who transformed into a foul mouth and rage-fueled magical girl. Watch in awe as she swiftly disposes of street harassers and uses her array of magical weapons. The Savage Shores number three. All kidding aside, this will probably be the first title I read on Wednesday. Absolutely love this. Can't say enough good things about it. It's from Vault Comics. The stench of war clings to the air as Hyder Ali of my sword comes calling for the levy. Good men and demons alike are set to march even as lovers part with the promise of a safe return. If you haven't been reading this title, I highly suggest you do. It's got great story, great art. If you're a fan of vampires and dark horror stories, definitely pick this book up. Issue number three comes out this week and it's sold out a lot of places online already. Wasted Space number six. That's right, what was supposed to be a five issue mini was so good that it's now an ongoing series. This also is from Vault Comics. The whole fam damnly is back. Billy visits a crooked politician. Dust and Fury make sweet bought love in unsanitary locations. A ghost haunts Molly Visions of Rex and Legion pets a dog. So there you have it guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, February 6, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. What books I might have missed that you guys enjoy. Always love hearing what other people are reading. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button. This is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com, and I'll see you guys next week.